If you're a keen bird watcher, one of the best times of year to visit Christmas Island is during Bird and Nature Week, held in September each year to coincide with National Threatened Species Day. Bird Week participants are invited in small groups to assist with research, guided by some of the world's leading experts, such as biologist Tim Lowe, Nick Dunlop, seabird specialist Dr. Janis Henneke, and Mark Holdsworth, a specialist in birds of prey. As well as daily workshops and seminars, it's an opportunity to take part in valuable research projects. You'll have the opportunity to work with guides to study the nesting biology and foraging ecology of birds including Christmas Island frigates and red-tailed tropic birds. One such activity is to help fish for goshawks from the back of Mark Holdsworth's truck as he continues his ongoing colour banding program. The idea is to trawl a toy mouse behind the truck to catch a bite from an unsuspecting goshawk. It's not as easy as it sounds and can involve a patient trip through the Christmas Island forest trails, but Mark has been doing this for a while and he usually gets the result. Once Mark has bagged a bird, he can tell you a lot from the rings that have previously been applied to its legs, and it also allows him to apply new tags for future reference. It's a rare opportunity to get very close to a remarkable bird of prey and see its abilities demonstrated and explained by an expert. Another activity is retrieving Abbott's boobies from high up in the forest canopy in order to take measurements of weight and size and attach a satellite tracking device to them. Don't worry, we won't send you up to get them, but you will get the chance to see Dr. Janis Henneke scale the trees and carefully extract both mother and baby boobies from their nests, gently lowering them to the ground crew. You might expect the birds to be a little more alarmed than they actually are, but in the hands of a knowledgeable expert, they're quite calm and appear to go through the process without too much stress. Once safely down, they're tagged with the satellite tracking device that records how far and for how long the birds have to search for food when on the wing over the vast Indian Ocean. In addition, their various measurements are taken to monitor their overall development. They are of course returned to their nest once the exercise is concluded. Nightly seminars during Bird Week showcase the results of all the seabird research, the status of the endemic land birds, the rarities of Christmas Island and the marine and terrestrial ecology of the island. For more information on participating, visit the website at christmas.net.au.